Well, hello once again, all my YouTube subscribers. And of course, to any brand new browsers who are visiting my channel for the very first time, thanks once more for giving up your valuable time to take a look at some more vintage motorcycles right here in my world of classic dirt bikes. Now, this particular video is really an updated version of a video I posted some time ago on Andrew Craig's 1979 Mark 12 250 Bull Tackle. Now, this featured bike is of course a 79 Mark 12 Persang model, which is the long travel suspension model, which was an updated improvement on the previous uh, 1978 bike. Now, Andrew originally bought this bike from a friend who had found it for sale on a local internet site. Now, the machine had already been partly restored, although it was still quite scruffy and had loads of parts missing, and many others were in dire need of some refurbishment or replacement. And so it looked like the best thing for Andrew to do was completely disassemble the bike and check out what work was actually needing done and what needed replacing. That way Andrew would have a better idea of what exactly he had just purchased. Now almost immediately Andrew knew that the bike needed a brand new seat, a new carburetor, a new coil and there were lots uh, more quite important pieces that were going to be needed to be found before he even thought about getting the bike running. But nevertheless, and despite that, there was some good news, and that was that the frame and the rear swing arm had already been refurbished and painted professionally. So that was a very good start to Andrew's brand new bike project. But of course, uh, there would still be lots of uh, smaller parts that Andrew would have to source to get this uh, lovely machine back into its uh, pristine 1979 condition. But of course Andrew had a bit of help with the frame and swing arm already in tip-top condition so Andrew never had to worry about that particular part of the build. Now of course there was some other good news about this bike and that was that this 250cc Boltaco motor had already had a ton of money spent on it with a complete nut and bolt rebuild and of course a brand new repaint also. Although before Andrew went any further with this project and just to be sure that the motor was everything it claimed to be and not just a snazzy paint job on the outside, he immediately borrowed a coil and carburetor from a friend, stuck some fuel in the battered old fuel tank and with a few stabs on the kicker she fired up almost immediately and what's more, the engine sounded really sweet. And so with the frame, swing arm, and now the engine given a complete clean bill of health, Andrew could now press on with the remainder of the build. Now this Bing carburetor is an original replacement for this bike, as of course this was one of the parts that never came with the machine when Andrew first purchased it. Now this part was sourced from another Mark 12 bike, which unfortunately was being broken up for spare parts. Now these Mark 12 Boltaco Persangs of course were also the first Boltaco Persang machines to use a reed valve as part of the carburetor intake system. Now the original forks that were supplied with the bike were not good and their stanchions were badly corroded and rusted and so Andrew had these completely reground and then replated by his local engineering shop. Now of course these long travel 260mm forks were an upgrade on the previous Boltaco model as 1979 was the year that riders were crying out for more ground clearance on their Boltaco dirt bikes and of course this Mark 12 bike certainly delivered the goods in that respect.
Now naturally the rear swing arm also was upgraded to 280mm and reinforced for strength for this uh, 1979 Mark 12 at uh, Boltaco. Now also in the front suspension department Andrew took the opportunity to have the top and bottom triple clamps and a few of the other Boltaco's uh, parts polished at Lindine Engineering in his uh, native Falkirk. Now of course there is uh, absolutely no mistaking the country of origin for this lovely Mark 12 Bull Taco when you see this uh, badge on the swing arm. Now when it came to the rear suspension these uh, shocks were basically just scrap and their shafts were so badly corroded they were virtually unusable. Andrew then ordered a pair of these brand new beater shocks directly from Spain. Now these were period correct for the bike and had these very tidy remote gas reservoirs also fitted. Now the fuel tank that Andrew got with the bike was an original 79 bull tackle item although it wasn't in a good state and had showed some signs of battle damage and also had huge gouge gouges in the plastic. Now also one of the gas taps were blocked off with a bolt and had loads of silicone sealer around it which looked a bit ominous. So a new fuel tank was then ordered along with new taps, a new cap and other items from Dave Renham's In Motion Boltaco dealership in Egham in Surrey in the UK. Now these uh, In Motion Boltaco dealers stock just about every single item you would require to restore one of these old Spanish machines. Now the seat is a brand new original uh, replacement for this uh, Mark 12 250 Bull Taco and uh, this of course was another one of the items that Andrew had to resource to fit back on to his uh, Bull Taco bike building project. And as you can see it looks uh, absolutely superb in this uh, newly finished chassis. Now the front and rear brake hubs were still in one piece although the inner braking surfaces were corroded and these were then outsourced to a specialist engineering company to be resurfaced in steel as the original chrome surfaces were then peeling off. Now naturally the bike had to have a complete new set of plastic side panels as the originals were in a pretty bad state. Now these replacement panels were sourced directly from the USA and were supplied by DC Plastics. Now Andrew told me that these plastic panels are not perfect by any means but they do their job am amicably and are about the best you can source anywhere for these Persang machines. Now these panels of course were vacuum formed whereas the original 79 volt taco panels were manufactured using injection moulding. Now the front and rear mud guards are more or less brand new parts and Andrew got these included in the sale of the bike when he first purchased it. So these were simply just bolted back onto the bike once the chassis and motor etc were all given a clean bill of health. Now of course in 1979 this was the first ever Boltaco motocrosser to be fitted with a high level exhaust system. Now all of the Persang models previously had of course the underslung exhaust system although this high level type configuration was again in keeping with the need for greater ground clearance on these 1979 models. Now of course this high level exhaust system was designed to protect the exhaust system from stones and any other debris that would get thrown up from the wheels. Now the original handlebars on Andrew's bike were completely rusted through and were certainly not the right ones for this Mark 12 bike. 
The mounting lugs were also built up using old washers, which Andrew suspects were to stop them fouling the fork air caps, which were also not the originals for this bike. And so a full set of original bars were then fitted along with the original number plates which were all sourced directly from Spain. Now many of the smaller items including the control cables, grips and this throttle gasser are all replacement built taco items and are period correct for this uh, 1979 machine. Now the rear sprocket was another new part Andrew had to find and was then subsequently chromed by his local metal finishers, Glasgow Chromers. Now this company also chromed all the original Voltaco mounting bolts which of course had that authentic B stamped on their heads. Now the chain is a heavy duty gold RK chain which of course is a high quality part and just the job to transmit the power from that Voltaco motor. Now Andrew also told me that the original wheels were in a terrible state along with their associated spokes which were not only rusted but were badly corroded around the rims. Now also the tyres that were fitted to the rims were so old and rock hard Andrew couldn't even get them off the rims so he just cut through the spokes and threw the entire lot into the bin keeping of course the hubs intact. Subsequently then a new set of Spanish Morad rims were then ordered and then rebuilt with new stainless steel spokes before being mated back on to the now refurbished brake hubs. Now these brand new wheels were also downsized from what Andrew thought were a ridiculously wide 2.75 rim to a more respectable 2.15. Now, as it turns out, this 1979 Mark 12 250 was just part of the very last container shipment that came from the Spanish Baltaco factory when Andrew's bike was eventually imported into the UK. Now, Andrew's featured bike was destined to be delivered to Jimmy Morton's Baltaco dealership in Sorn Ayrshire in Scotland. So what actually became of this 1979 restoration since the finished build? Well, Andrew never actually got to race his beloved bike on the racetrack because in between his day job of being a paramedic and putting the bike together, he never really had the time to ride this lovely restored machine. And besides, Andrew at the time had no means of transporting the bike to any racetrack to try it out. So the bike was then sold on uh, not long after these pictures were taken and so hopefully the new owner will put the bike to good use by putting it back on the track where it most certainly belongs. Now if you'd like a more comprehensive and detailed feature on this Mark 12 Bull Tackle, look out for this machine soon to be featured in issue number 79 of the VMX magazine. So there you have it, a very brief look at an iconic 1979 Mark 12, Boltaco. Now I hope you enjoyed the video and please continue to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of these classic and vintage off-road dirt bikes. And thanks once more for watching. This video was brought to you in association with World Sport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more details.